Okay, so uh, the lures that I actually favour for wild dogs is uh, female urine, urine out of a bitch, urine out of a dog, and dog's blood, and dog scat. So that's what I generally use, and the way I administer it is through these syringes. Okay. So a bit of dog's blood first. Probably about uh, four mil. Good amount. Bit urine. About the same, and about four mil. Give it a bit of a shake. Dog urine, just a bit less, probably about two or three mil. It's plenty, pretty heavy, but it'll do the job. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll head back over to the trap with the lures and um, here we'll position them. What we do now is we use a dog scat. I like to normally hang my dog scats high for a particular purpose. It keeps that when the dog comes in, he's concentrating and, and, and at head height. I have the dog urine up there at head height and I have the scat generally. Okay, in this position, in this situation, I can't get my scat up high, so I just have to go on the ground. But anyway, so we'll put a scat. And now you can see the reason I've got that stick there, because that stick is dead centred to the centre of the plate. Okay. We'll put a couple of scats there from different dogs. I've got one bitch scat and I've got a dog scat there. Take your stick away. Okay, bitch urine goes down low on the base of the tree and on the scat. The dog urine goes up here high at the height of the dog. That keeps his, that keeps his nose up off the ground. Stops him concentrating on what's going on under his feet. So there's your dog urine there. I'll trickle a bit of blood. Down onto the scats. So that's your lures in position. I'll just put this stuff away. Okay, what we're doing now, just remove our mat. Okay, and take the, uh, the excess material away. Take it uh, quite 15, 20 metres away from your trap site before you dump it.